That was clean B-roll there. It's yummy! What do you got, 145? 141. Wow. I like it. I am Iron Man. I mean, because you guys are going to go for it. Finally here. Boom, bada bing, pop. The new rangefinder, I already opened out of the box because I'm an idiot and forgot to record, but this is what we've got. No, rangefinder and an empty box. It's pretty much that simple, you guys. I got the brand new rangefinder right here, and it's really, really cool. I mean, it works. Let's see, the, uh, the door is 6.6 .6 yards away. Adjusted 5.9. That makes no sense. But anyway, I got the new rangefinder. Now it's time to take it to the course, hit some shots. We're gonna we're gonna try, I think, play a, a one golf hole at least. I think I'm just gonna go like on the course and just from random yardages or whatever, just kind of click it and just kind of see how far away I am. Hit some shots and then uh, be on the range for a little bit and then we'll be on our way. All right. 180. Sharp. We're about 180 yards out. Okay, so you guys, essentially what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to utilize this rangefinder as much as we can. I picked a distance, 180 yards. Holy lightning. Um, <coughs> probably not the smartest play with the lightning, but I'm just gonna hit a couple of shots at 180, and I guess we'll kinda, we'll kinda know what club that is. Yeah, yeah. We're starting with, uh, we're starting with the seven. Wait a sec. Oh, that is so good. It's enough. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. 187. 180. Right at 180. Yeah. Oh, geez, that is so money. This one, the top portion of the green. Okay. Perfect shot. Pretty good. We're gonna go find another range and hit some more balls. Go to like. Let's hit like 140. Let's hit. Let's about 140. Let's go in there. Yeah. Hit a couple of shots. Let's see if we can't hit the green. 140. I mean, I mean, I'm money, baby. If you're money, then why do you need a rangefinder, huh? Huh? That's yeah. a great question. All right, so right at 140, it's kind of straight into the wind, so I'm gonna utilize this nine iron. Let's see if that's the club. I'll know right away if I need to grab a pitching. We are risking our life for this video. Just I literally a little. Am. I got a metal camera in my hand. Oh, dude, Steve, if that's the number and goes in, I'm done with golf. Oh my oh, number! Baby. That's, see, that's the that's what rangefinder can do. That's exactly what a rangefinder can do. <coughs> right side of the green. Good kick. Yep. Oh my goodness! A little slicey on that one. A little slicey, but I think it's still the number. Oh, it's a little long. Whoa, Matt got some muscles on that one. All right. I like that. I think if we if we hit kind of that same draw-esque kind of shot, I should be able to get this P-Wedge there. Oh, it's pure. Might be a little short, but it's right on it. Okay, perfect numbers. Nine iron, it's a little it's a little kind of choke back shot, pitching wedge full. Let's go down to about 100. Let's see if we can't keep hitting the green. You guys, I'm hitting the green, okay? I'm hitting the green, which is really impressive for me. Thing. Let's see if they're right. Yep. 99.6 yards. Right at that 100 yard number, which should be kind of a dialed in 56. Sometimes I'll get <coughs> I'll get a tad scared, you guys, and I'll usually I'll try and hit like a knockdown 52. But uh, oh, you got aggressive on that I'm one, son. On that one. That'll be on the road. That's called a bubby shot right there. It's gonna be a little short. Okay, so 
When that happens, I put that away, grab the 52 degree, and hit more of a knockdown, knockdown kind of shot, right at that 100 yard number. There it is. Matt should be right next to the pin. Matt should be right next to the pin. Yep. Just like that. You guys, get yourselves a range finder. You guys saw me hit him on the range with Steve. Um, if I can get at Waters Creek, I, I doubt because it's pretty much raining right now. But I went 180, 140, and 100 yards, and I kind of know the numbers. I'm going to go more on the course and kind of like dial in all of my wedges, all of my irons, and, and my drivers and three woods and things. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, I got that range finder blue tees. It works really, really well, and uh, the yardages are dialed in. So, <clears throat> All right, so we got a number. It's 306. Steve's going to kind of go for it here. He'll be off on the right, but he'll be all right. I'll yep. be all right. Up I in that little gully. That right side. Not bad. Don't even worry. Not bad, Steve. Dude, the game is looking pretty solid for Steve. He's hitting the ball really good. I'm excited to see where his game goes, man. Tig with the driver. This is way too much club for him. It's a lot of club for Tig. This is all or nothing right here. Oh, my dead straight, though. One right, one left. All right, Sharf with his trusty old four iron, probably three irons. What I said. Yup. That was really nice. That's gonna be down in that canyon too. I hit it way too hard. No, that's gonna be dead center of the fairway. Dude, that. Dude, dude, that was dude. That was pure. That was center of the face. All right, I need to do some more of that, to be honest. That's the one thing that's struggling with my game right now, is making sure I hit the center of the face. And, uh, you know, hopefully this, this little range finder will help me on this next hole and get our distances <laughs> dialed in. We can, uh, we can make a birdie and kind of get out of here with destiny. Okay, well, I'm surprised that I actually hit the fairway here. It's uh, 55.8, but pretty close, Steve. All right, so 55 yards. Now, I'm looking for Actually about that 46 yard chip, I think. That should be enough carry to get on the green and uh, and give myself a really solid look for birdie here. So. A little long. I think no spin, I hit that a tad long. Okay, all right, but a good thing is I know exactly what I need to do. Hit that kind of shot closer to the pin. Um, Quick up and down for par though, we should be all right. Yeah. Steve's gonna be over here on the right. Staying right there, Charles. Oh, do I? Yeah, that's my ball. How did I outdrive you, Steve, with my three iron? Get yourself a little rangy poo. Get this first person view here. 69.3 yards. Oh man, I wish it was right on the number, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I probably hit it just off the green, because I'm really good at golf. Not bad. All right. Let's go make some putts. All right, so I'm a little long here. Steve a little long. Of course, Micah made the greenery. Let's see what we can do here. Oh! Are you kidding me? I was going in. That's hilarious. Bro, Steve, you be on that mastery stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did it on purpose. All right. <laughs> that's a... Same. That was hilarious. Way wrong. Well, I guess I'm up. Well, oh, wait, you're up. I guess we'll give you par, Steve. I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that situation was. I think we're just gonna give both. We'll give Steve par and we'll give Mike a par. My, I made birdie. Oh my. Dead center of the cup. Steve's ball came in there and said, "Psych." <laughs> my ball was gone. Yeah, three a pars. Nice, a nice par. Okay, so. There you go. Get yourself a rangefinder. You'll make some pars and birdies. We gotta go film some good, good stuff now. So hopefully I find some more clips to throw in here. But uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I bought a new rangefinder. Nothing too big. I don't know. I just want you to know that I'm buying some of the tools to succeed. Got a new three wood. Gonna get a new driver next. Gonna get fitted for the driver, and uh, hopefully get fitted for a two iron at some point too. Obviously I got the new putter a while back. I'm gonna get some new wedges. Just kind of gonna be working through the bag and getting them perfect clubs. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Slap a like. Slap a subscribe. I loved you, brother. Loki, I thought the world of you. I thought of a day when we would fight side by side, but you're you and I'm me. I always thought there was a little good in you, brother, but it seems that our paths were diverged a long time ago. No, 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 we know each other. No, he's a friend from work. I like Zoink Scoob. Those guys over there, they're insane. 
This can go two ways, punk. You walk away, or I walk on your face. Like Zoink Scoob, there's too many of a man. We've got to get out of here. Like Zoinks. <laughs> right, don't think. <laughs> what do you think, man? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, all time is just a, a speckless space. So how do we come to this? Well, see, there's a, a simple reason. <laughs> you let your hair down. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You gotta let your hair flow. Stop blowing nose in my shit! Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum always gone? Every time I come back to my ship, there's no rum. Does anybody know why? That's about it. Thank you. Peace out.